So you wanna smoke cigars, huh? <laughs> Alright, cool. Family check. I put my home in third. Hey, the business here, guys. It's your boy Bobby P checking in with another video, another episode of Bobby's World, man. I appreciate you guys continuing to show me so much love. I'm gonna thank you guys every episode, every chance I get, man. But I'm back with another video, man. Give you some more tips and tricks on uh, cigar smoking and cigar 101. I had a couple people contact me about. Bobby, what type of cigar should I be smoking? For what occasion? What are the different sizes of cigars? Um, what are the different leaves? Where do they come from? And etc. So I'm gonna break it down into three videos. But the first video I'm gonna start with the different cigar sizes and the type of cigar uh, you should be smoking or suggested that you should be smoking for the different occasions. First and foremost, guys, tap that like button and hit that subscribe button and turn on a notification bell for the next video. Yeti, comment down below what made you want to start smoking cigars. That's what I want to start by first. Me personally, um, I'm just cutting my cigar. Using the guillotine cut, aka straight cut. Me personally, smoking cigars is a stress reliever for me. And a cigar is relaxing to me. You take this from me, I don't do drugs. Um, I do um, a lot throughout the day, a lot of work. and. It's just a, just a way for me to relax, man, with a nice, you know, drink and just enjoying it. And also I like to do it for networking reasons too. It's just mainly a stress reliever as well to, to relax, man, have my man time, my, my man cave talk like we're doing right now. So a couple of brands that I smoke, I smoke uh, Perdomo's and I also smoke Rocky Patel's. Those are my two favorite. Hopefully Perdomo and Rocky Patel want to do like a sponsorship. My nigga. <laughs> grow as a cigar aficionado, man, and, and teach others about cigars. Right now, I'm just smoking the Argyle Black Top. The point of this video is honestly to teach you guys about the different types of cigar sizes. It's a hell of a lot of cigar sizes right now. I'm not going to even lie to you, as you guys may know. There's a whole bunch of cigar sizes, but I'm going to give you at least six to seven of the most common ones. So one of the most common sizes is the Robusto. So the Robusto it has a 50 ring gauge. This is the ring gauge. And then it's uh, five inches long. So it's gonna be five inches long. Um, that's one of the most common ones. I suggest you use a guillotine cut, a, AKA a straight cut or a V cutter. Please do not use a punch. Some people like punches. A punch, all you do is just punch a little hole at the top, the second most common is the Toro, and I'm actually smoking a Toro. Um, this Argyle is the size of a Toro. It has a 52 ring gauge as well, and it is six inches long. So it's a little bit thicker and a little bit longer than the Robusto. Pause, but a Toro is actually one of the most common ones that you will get or that you can order from a cigar shop, a cigar lounge, whatever it is. A lot of people prefer Toros because of the flavor that it packs. Um, again, I suggest that you use a straight cutter and a V cutter. Right next is the Gordo. A Gordo, I actually have a picture right here. It has a 16 inch ring size and it is six inches long. So it's a little bit thicker than the previous two that I stated, Toro and the Robusto. Um, the Gordo, a lot of people, depending on the preference, it packs a lot of punch. Now it has a lot of flavor. Tobacco tastes very well in it. But a lot of people usually don't stay Gordos. A lot of people like Toros. A lot of people like Robustos. A lot of people like Churchills. Um, Gordo, to me, um, I actually like it. I just prefer the Toro or the Churchill, in my opinion. But again, straight cut, used for that one. The next one is actually one of my favorites, and I actually like it in the Perdomo brand. Um, it's a torpedo. So a torpedo is actually going to have a pointy tip. It has a 52 ring gauge, um, even with that pointy tip and the length is 6.5 inches. Now the torpedo, that packs a lot of punch. I see people who use a V cut for their torpedo, but I suggest a straight cut because you wanna make that cut as precise cut because it is pointy at the end. And being pointy at the end, if you don't cut it right, you can mess up the whole cigar. So I suggest a straight cutter, but there's some other people that will suggest a V cutter. However, it's your preference though. Um, but a Torpedo is actually really good and my favorite brand in the Torpedo is a Perdomo 25th Anniversary Sun Grown. It's actually amazing, man. Next up on the list, we had a Corona and I'm not talking about Coronavirus. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! <laughs> Nor the B. 
beer. Corona actually has a 44 ring gauge and it is actually 6.5 inches long. So it's a little bit smaller ring gauge, but it's a little bit longer. Pause. But a Corona is actually one of the most common ones too. Um, I see a lot of people that want to smoke a Corona, they want to have like a 30 minute smoke session to 45 minutes. Corona is actually going to be one of those cigars that you get if you, you know, got a little bit amount of time, but you want to enjoy your cigar too though. So, and I suggest use that a V cutter with that one also because it has a lot of flavor. All right, last but not least, the Churchill. Churchill is probably one of the biggest cigars um, in sizes there is, man. A 48 ring gauge, so it's a nice little size, but it is seven inches long. Pause. A Churchill is probably my first, and then the Torpedo is my second, and then the Toro is my third, and then the fourth is the Busto. I just love it, man, because it gives you a lot of time to sit there, to think, and it has great flavors from beginning to the end, so you have a little, at least an hour or two plus. Make sure you got time set out during the day or if you're busy doing yard work or whatever and you just want to smoke the whole time, I suggest a church here. Now with the cut, you can do either a V cut or a guillotine cut. Church here, once again, is one of the most, probably the most common um, cigar sizes of them all. Comment down below what's your favorite, man. I gave you my favorite, what's your favorite, what you like to smoke and what's your favorite brand of cigars that you like to smoke. But so when it comes to cigar sizes, it's pretty much whatever you prefer. Um, I gave you my favorites. I want to know your favorites. What is your favorite sizes of cigars and the type of brand that you like? And in that brand, what is your go-to? Do you prefer the Connecticut leaf? Do you prefer the dark leaf? What do you prefer? Let me know, man. I want to know because I want to try some of these cigars that you suggest. And the second question that I usually get, what cigar should I be smoking for the occasion? Honestly, simple answer whatever you feel like smoking. If you're going to a wedding, me personally, I'm going to smoke a torpedo just because I want a nice flavor and enjoy the moment with the, the groomsmen or the bride, whoever, whoever, you know, which side that I'm on, or I get a church here. Or if the groomsmen actually provide the cigars, I'm going to, you know, smoke whatever they provide. If you're going to a party, me personally, I'll smoke a reboot start. I don't want nothing too long because I want to enjoy myself and when it's done, it's done. Have a nice drink with it. And the fun thing about cigars, it's a huge industry, a whole variety of them. You have cigars that are made from Nicaragua, uh, Ecuador, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Honduras. Smoking cigars actually gives you the control of doing what you want to do or smoking what you want to smoke. Um, nobody can tell you how to cut. Nobody can tell you how to choose a cigar. We can suggest um, just from experience, but for like beginners, it's up to what you want to smoke. I started with light leaves and I gradually got into darker leaves, but I know some people that started with darker leaves and lighter leaves, they don't even want to smoke lighter leaves because they like the darker leaves. Well, I just want to say thank you guys for another chance for me to present you guys a video and trying to educate you guys a little bit on cigar smoking. Next video is going to be part two. We're just going to get, it's going to be a quick video. We're going to get into the origins of the leaves and the different types of leaves it's a lot, but I'm going to give you a few because we'll be here all day if I did. Appreciate you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe this video. And please leave a comment down below. Leave a, a bourbon, the bourbon glass uh, emoji down below. If you got Android, I don't know what it is, but if you got iPhone, please leave a bourbon glass down below. Make sure you know you guys are supporting and things like that. But other than that, man, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Holla at your boys in the next video. Peace. Hey, hey man, I'm just doing my job. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, lady, don't mind me. Just do it.